Hello, and today I want to show you my project which is called Linux Control Interface. So here I have a Raspberry Pi model A, and it has a wireless dongle attached, and I'm plugging the cable in. So yeah, it's powering up and booting. And here I have uh, a screen and uh, also some simple buttons, all connected uh, to I2C port through I2C GPIO expanders. And uh, the total cost of this setup is about uh, five dollars, six tops. So here is it, my interface, and I can use this interface to ma uh, manage this system without even having to plug in a keyboard, a mouse, a UART adapter, or something else. Uh, here, for example, I want to connect to a wireless network because I want to SSH into my Pi uh, to maybe do some development tasks. And this interface makes it possible. I'm scanning for, net for networks. So here I can see some networks available. And let's say I have this one saved in memory, so it's connecting. And I would want to check the status, and the connection is completed. Mm -hmm. And I have also got an IP address. So, for example, I also want to connect to connect on arbitrary wireless networks. For, for example, I I will create an open network on my sw smartphone right now, and then attempt to connect it. Yeah. Yes, so I've created a wireless network called Android AP, and here I'm going to scan, and then I'll have to wait till the scanning is finished. Uh huh. So I have this Android AP there. And I just connect to it, and the network was open, that's great. And then I'm going to check the status. Completed, yes, it connected to an arbitrary open network I just created. And there is no IP address, but if I refresh it, there is one. And that's the one my Android phone gave me. So here, for example, I can then SSH into my Pi, having connected it to a wireless network, and uh, also having uh, its address. And then, for example, I can easily perform some more simple tasks, such as control some utilities. And my OCP is my music player, so I can uh, switch uh, tracks and uh, maybe put a random track or just pause the play playback. I can control volume like up, down, and mute, and no other simple things. I can see uh, statuses of network interfaces such as uh, a more detailed status, for example, IP IPv6 address, uh, MAC address, and maybe in the future some more information and I can even check an I2C bus if I need to. I've written it, uh, I've written this application specifically because I work with I2C devices a lot. So here I can check and those two devices are this one, uh, this GPIO expander and this one which controls the screen. And so here I'm exiting it, I'm going to the main menu and let's say I finished working with my Raspberry Pi, I still haven't SSH in it, uh, I could of course if I needed to, but right now I can just shut down it without ever having to physically log in or something. So here you can see the LEDs, 
these are flashing. Oh, yeah. So it has shut down, and then I just got, uh, can unplug the cable, and it's powered down cleanly, uh, without any SD card corruption possible or something. And of course, that's not the only thing this system is capable of doing. For example, you can uh, write applications to do backups, uh, mount drives in them, share them over the network, uh, flash firewares to chips, uh, automate some tasks, or maybe take pictures with the camera uh, on the press of a button. Uh, the point is, uh, I want to make it easy to write your own applications. Uh, for anything uh, you want to perform using that system. If that's interesting to you, I mm, I am describing a project on Hackaday and uh, putting up build blocks, uh, so the link is in the description. Uh, go there and you can read about the system. I'm planning to make a first release uh, with the hardware instructions and some basic applications uh, for you about the around the 1st of April, so you can start using the system and maybe start developing your own applications. Uh, so for now that's all, see you guys!